Uh, and joining us now uh, as we continue our investigation, we have so much to talk about here with more House Oversight Committee Chairman James Comer, House Judiciary Committee Chairman Jim Jordan, and House Ways and Means Committee uh, Chairman Jason Smith. Gentlemen, uh, I apologize. It's a little shortened segment than we had a plan for. Uh, Congressman Comer, this is your committee. This is 2018, a money laundering investigator warning about Hunter's unusual erratic payments from China. Uh, why didn't anything happen? Well, that's a great question. Uh, the bank did what it was supposed to do. The compliance officer caught it. They realized that this is a wire into what they said was a company with uh, no known purpose, meaning it was a shell company or a fake company. And they were concerned because the, uh, the politically exposed person who owned the account was the son of the former vice president of the United States. They knew through press accounts uh, and through his ex-wife's testimony and interviews that he had a drug problem, that he was in financial trouble. So they knew that he was compromised. They knew that China did this. This is the way that China bought influence. This is the way that China compromised politicians. They would send money to compromised family members of big politicians to try to gain influence. So when they were, when they contacted the, the Bidens, asked, what was this $5 million wire? They said it was a loan. Just like what Joe Biden said, the checks that we identified he received was a loan. So the bank did what I did. They said, okay, we'll provide the loan documents. They couldn't do that, Sean. They didn't have yeah. loan documents. So the bank knew that China didn't send Hunter Biden $5 million as a loan without documentation. And then even further, they said that Hunter Biden took 58% of that in the form of fees and distributed it to various family well, members, including Joe Biden. Let me ask you, Jim Jordan, this runs right in tandem with your investigation into whether yeah. the DOJ has been weaponized or politicized. We know Weiss allowed the statute of limitations to pass. Uh, we know originally wanted no charges at all against Hunter. We know that he was going along with this, this you know, sweetheart deal that got blown up by a judge in Delaware. Um, yeah. Is this more evidence that... Biden's DOJ is weaponized and they're protecting Hunter Biden? Yeah, it is. And, you know, remember, Sean, but for the two whistleblowers that came forward in Chairman Smith's committee, the DOJ would have probably got away with it. God bless the judge who saw the sweetheart deal. But it was Mr. Shapley and Mr. Ziegler who came forward and gave us the facts about how this whole investigation was slow walked and what they did. But I actually think Jamie's right. The most important line in this internal bank document is the line that says China is targeting children of politicians. So this may have been a lot less than a shakedown, which John Solomon referred to. It may have been that somewhat, but it also could be going the other way. China trying to influence, because look at what China sees. They, they most likely knew about Joe Biden and Hunter Biden's contact and involvement with this Ukrainian energy company and how Joe Biden went over there and leveraged our tax dollars to get the guy fired who was applying the pressure to the Burisma executives at the request of his son. So that's the scary thing here. China may have known that. China may have saw an easy target or a, or a big target and, and taken this action that they did. Let me, let me ask you, Chairman Smith, because it also dovetails into your committee, the Ways and Means Committee. You know, if we look at all of the issues involving taxes and and, of course, the statute of limitations in one case, the amount of the sheer amount of money that we have been t taken in, the uh, suspicious activity reports, the shell corporations, the tens of millions going to what James Comer has uh, identified as 10 Biden family members. You know, what is your committee seeing in this? You know, next week, Sean, we're having those two brave whistleblowers come back to before our committee. In fact, they have been giving us additional documentation that's going to help, that will help with this uh, investigation. But one thing that we have to pay close attention to, those checks that Chairman Comer released that were loan payments to President Biden, what's quite interesting, if you look at the public tax returns of President Biden's, there's no documentation of any interest income that he reported. So if, in fact, those are loans, wouldn't you charge interest? We have a lot of questions before President Biden. And the, the, the whistleblowers have done an incredible job, Sean, by giving us the evidence, the documentation to show exactly how well, the Justice Department has not been following a proper investigation and you and on top of that there's a lot of loans we got into this with uh, congressman comer last night uh, a lot of loans going around there but that would be something that should be easily 
uh, traceable um, and an agreement made, and you're right, interest being paid. Uh, gentlemen, uh, again, I appreciate you staying on uh, with us tonight in light of the sad, tragic news that Henry Kissinger has passed away.